Hey, peel me another pineapple, honey. That is the best new we've had yet, Chief. Remind me to send my draft board a thank you note. <laughs> Could you all get a little closer together? What do you think you say, Mr. Parker? Ah, oh, come on. Sending this home to mother, you know. If Bington finds out we sneaked off to a luau, she'll see our pictures at the post office. Hey, Chuck, snap it up. We gotta be getting back. <laughs> okay, Skip. Okay, now, everybody watch the birdie and say cheese. Oh, and nobody blink. This flash powder's pretty potent stuff. Hey, Skip, there's a zero coming in at 3 o'clock. Take run, Harry. Come on, take cover. Let's go, come on. Let's go. I guess I used too much powder. <laughs> Sure was flattened. Well, I hate it to leave him in such bad shape. Yeah, well, don't worry, you guys. We're going to go back there real pronto. What do you mean? How are we going to do that? that? Just as soon as we can lay our hands on all the building supplies that we can. We're going to go back there and help rebuild that village. That's the least we can do. I like that. That's all right. Hey, Skip, I just received a signal from Mainside. Hit and run Harry went on and clobbered Taratupa. Knocked a 25 boat out right off our island. Young Louis' boat? Yes, sir. Oh, what a tough break. Oh, that no good fink. Oh, that nip is getting to be more of a menace than Binghamton. <laughs> Sunday, two submarine tenders. <laughs> Yesterday, a munitions dump. <laughs> Today, PT-25. Captain Binghamton, come free! <laughs> come fleet on the phone, sir. I'm Bill Rogers calling. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm Binghamton here. Yes, I'll wait. Don't take that stupid thing off, you blockhead. You are a blockhead, aren't you? Oh, I, 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 no, no, not you, Admiral. I know, sir. I, I, I was just giving uh, Seaman Block uh, permission to, uh, to go to the head. <laughs> Stop that infernal cackling. Tell me, Binghamton, is it true that Hit and Run Harry got away again? Yes, sir. He's a, he's a very sneaky bandit, Admiral. He sneaks in under our radar, and he's gone before we can strike back. Well, we got to do something about him. I'm coming down to Terratupa tomorrow to work out some countermeasures. Meanwhile, what about PT-25? It was a direct hit, Admiral. The, the boat is inoperable. All right. Transfer the crew of the PT-25 up here right away for reassignment. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Goodbye. All up. Foul luck. I could have hit the 73 boat, then McHale and his bunch would have been transferred. Not the... Wait a minute. The 25 was hit right off of McHale's Island, wasn't it? Yes, sir. Carpenter, have we heard from McHale since uh, the raid? Well, no, sir. I tried to get through to him three times, sir, but there was no answer. Uh-huh. Maybe this is my lucky day after all, Carpenter. Maybe hit and run Harry hit the 73, too. <laughs> you know, you look better that way, boy. <laughs> Mikhail! Mikhail! They don't seem to be here, sir. No, they don't seem to be anywhere, Carpenter. This is terrible. Terrible. What's terrible, sir? Oh, I can see it all now. I know just what happened. Hit and run Harry snuck in here, and Mikhail and his men tried to fight him off, but one lucky bomb. It sent the PT-73 right into that bottomless ocean. 
Oh, what a loss, Elroy. What a tragic loss. <clears throat> Sir, yeah. sir, cheer up. They're safe, sir. They're safe. Well, Here comes the 73 well, now, right, right there, right, sir. Right. Oh, good. Of all the dirty, rotten, low down, miserable, dirty tricks. They're safe. Dirty tricks? I'm sure you were just crying for them. As a matter of fact, you almost had me in tears. I'll knock it off. I almost had my freedom. Now I can really cry. <laughs> so remember, you guys, not a word about where we've been. If Binghamton never finds out we left the base for the luau, ha ha, he'd eat us alive. Oh, condition red skip. Look at there's Bingham standing on the dock. Is he wearing a bib? <laughs> He's wearing a bib. Look what we're wearing. Yeah, we. Well, never mind. It's too late. He, he's already spotted us. Yeah, besides, our uniforms are blown up in the rain. What are we gonna do, Skip? Oh, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna? Well, we'll just play it cool. Follow my lead, boys. I got an idea. All right, tie her up there. Okay, you guys. Back to your quarters on the right. double. Move it, move it, boys. Hold it, hold it. Why, Captain Binghamton. Why, Captain Binghamton. <laughs> Chip, you didn't spot me from three miles out. Now, what's the rush? Oh, well, you see, I wanted my boys to get out of these combat uniforms. Yes, sir. Combat uniforms? <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah, you see, we're out chasing a nip submarine. What were you going to do to them? Blind them with your shirts, then lasso them with your legs? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, you and your little joke, sir. <laughs> no, you see, uh, we figured that they seeing us in these get-ups, well, we'd lull the enemy into a false sense of security. They think we are coming back from a luau. <laughs> then when they came up to investigate, blam! We'd blast them right out of the water. <laughs> Me and my little jokes, huh? You were at a luau, weren't you? You see? It even fooled you, sir. <laughs> I apologize to my orchid. Oh, I'll orchid. <laughs> Gotta do better than that story, Mikhail. Do you have any proof you're out chasing a nip sub? Well, there are 60 witnesses, sir. 60 witnesses? Where are they? Where? Well, Why, on that nip submarine, sir. Yes, sir. If you want, we go right out and get them. <laughs> hey, okay, you're a discover. Let's move out, man. Battle. Oh, oh shut up. Shut up. Me. <laughs> All right, Mikhail. You and your pineapple pickers are restricted to your island until further notice. Oh, but, Captain. I'm going to get to the bottom of your ridiculous story after the Admiral's visit. Admiral? Yes. And if I find out that you men really were at a luau, then I'm going to invite you to one of my own. Oh, you will? Yes, I will, Parker. And at this one, you're all going to be well done on both sides. <laughs> Skip, you're right. He is going to eat us alive. <laughs> oh, and now, uh, Mikhail, if you have any ideas about breaking restriction, then you forget them. Because I'm going to have a patrol boat check on you every half hour. And a 73 had better be tied up to your dock nice and tight. Yes, sir. Oh, but, Captain, what if Hit and Run Harry comes and we're tied up to the dock? Well, we'll be sitting ducks. <laughs> yeah. Carry on. <laughs> no good creaking. That's us like locked off. Yeah, like the 25 boat. Listen, that's a dirty trick. Yeah, with us on restriction, we'll never get back to help those poor natives. Hold it, hold it, boys. That 25 boat was beached on the south side of our island, wasn't it? Yeah. Hey, what gets, Skip? Boys, if we're lucky, we'll be able to outsmart old Lead Bottom on both counts. Yes, sir. Come on, let's get out of these party duds and move out. Let's go. There she is, Skip Azan. Wow, will you look at that? Hey. That nip bandit really worked her over. Sure did. Uh, I apologize for my landsman. Yeah, yeah. The main thing is, she's afloat. Well, what do you got in mind, Skip? Give out already. Well, first thing we do is go aboard and clean her up. Then we're going to change her name. To what? Flotsam or Jetsam? <laughs> Flotsam or Jetsam? The PT-73. Hey, that's a great name for a boat. PT-73. Hey, wait a minute. That's our boat. <laughs> What's going on, Skip? Excuse me, Skip, but have you flipped? Don't you guys get it? We fix her up, then we paint her to look like the old 73, then we tore her back to the dock. Oh, and then we sneak off to Marengo on the real 73, and the patrol boat will never know we left. Hey! <laughs> Skip, you're a genius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's quit the yakking. Now, let's get some paint, some tools, and a tow light. Come on, boys, let's move out. All right, Skip. All right, man, now you heard it. Let's move out. We've got to... Hey, wait for me. <laughs> Boy, she sure looks great, Skip. Yeah, you guys sure did a terrific job. Who would believe that under that paint job lies an empty hulk? 
Uh, I didn't work on a used car lot for nothing. <laughs> uh, well, if they don't get too close, maybe we can even fool Dampton's bed checkers. <laughs> Incidentally, what time's that patrol boat due again? Oh, not for another 20 minutes, Skip. Oh, that's good, that's good. That'll give us a chance to sneak our decoy into the dock. <laughs> and after that, I should lead our more uh, light-fingered uh, members on a heisting party for building supplies. <laughs> hey, Skip, when we get through rebuilding the village, maybe we can convert the 25 into a gambling ship. Yeah, and then we can have a real floating crap game. Knock it off, you guys. After we've done the job, we junk it. Oh, Skip, you can't. Yeah, every outfit should have two boats. Sure, one for upstream and one for downstream. Yeah, and while we're away at work, Fuji will have one to go marketing. It's the American dream. Two boats in every garage. <laughs> well, I can't skip. Two boats in every garage. Oh, come on. You guys have flipped. Yeah, I guess I have. We don't have a garage. <laughs> <laughs> They're just kidding. <laughs> How's that? Great, birds like twins. Yeah. Hey, sounds like a skipper's coming back. Hey, well, if it is, he's coming by air. It's a bandit at 10 o'clock coming in low, Mr. Parker. Hey, it's hit Ruin Harry. Wow. Small talker, tell me about the air raid. How did Hit and Run Harry do? Is the 73 still floating? The, uh, the raid? Well, yeah, yeah, it's fine. We're, we're all fine. Nice in the ask. You're all fine. Uh, yeah, yes, sir, affirmative. Uh, the nip plane got away, but we're all in great shape. Yes, sir. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Oh, yes, yes, that's just wonderful. I could just scream. Uh, where's Mikhail? Me? Mikhail? Mikhail? <clears throat> well, 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 he, well, he's busy with the men right now, sir. Well, put him on the phone. Get, get him to the... Get him to the phone. <clears throat> the, the, I'll get him, sir. Uh, Skipper! Uh, Binghamton wants to talk to you. Well... Uh, well, I can't come right now. I'm very busy. <laughs> I think he's pretty busy, sir. <laughs> All right, Willie. Now rack up that ammo and let's get moving, you eight ball. <laughs> He's up. He's up. Uh, uh, very, uh, pretty busy, sir. Uh, yeah, uh, well, Freddie can't make it. <laughs> what are you puffing about? Well, I'm talking to you. You keep puffing. Oh, never mind, you pea brain. <laughs> puffing all the time, puffing when I'm talking. The 73 boat is okay, sir. Yes. Why can't those Japanese train their pilots to be more accurate? It's an absolute disgrace, sir. More than that, Carpenter. There's something phony going on here. Mikhail cleaning up after an air raid. But why, sir? That, that's regulation Navy procedure. Yes, and Mikhail's doing it. That's what bothers me. <laughs> Keep an eye on things here yes. while I'm gone. I'm going to pay a visit to that rat's nest. Get my hat. Get yes, my hat. Your hat. Sir. Get the door. Oh, I thought you wanted me to get lost. <laughs> It's been over an hour. All I had to do is swipe those supplies and get back here. I don't understand why. Hey, they're... there they come. Well, that's what took him so long. The skip came the back way through the lagoon so he wouldn't run into the patrol boat or Binghamton. Oh, well, it's a shame they went through all that trouble. What? Well, here comes Binghamton. Man, what a time for him to show up. Holy mackerel, Willie and I better go and warn the skip while somebody stalls Binghamton. Oh, yeah, I, uh, wait a minute. Who's going to do the stalling? Looks like you've been elected, Mr. Parker. <laughs> what? Well, thanks. Gee, I won and I didn't even campaign. Hey, wait a minute. I want a recount. Hi, <laughs> right, Captain. Here, let me help you, sir. Oh! <laughs> Get what? your hands off of me! What? Oh. Every time I come over here, it's just like Blacked this. out, sir. Blacked out? out? How would you know the difference? You're knit Get your hands off of me. Better light the dust off with a... <laughs> Where is he? You got the dirt on your face, too, sir. Parker, I, you get your glasses. Where are my glasses? Parker, give me those glasses. I want Parker. Why don't you shave on duty? Give me those glasses. I tell you, get your hands off me. Just get your hands off me. Just get your hands off me. So where's Mikhail? Oh, Mikhail, Mikhail. Oh, well. 
What's well, the matter with you, boy? You're stammering and stuttering. You're like a... Would you stop that? Well, you touch me again, I'll have you hung. <laughs> now, where is he? He's making noises like a man is sitting on a live bomb. A bomb. A bomb! That's it! The bomb! That bomb. Well, well the one that hit and run Harry dropped. It didn't explode, sir. He dropped a bomb and it didn't explode? Yes. Yeah, yeah. And the skip's in here right now disarming it. Oh, well, I, I don't care. I want to talk to him anyway. You do? Yeah. What, 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 what? Well, okay. Hey, Skip, the cab wants to talk to you. Drop everything. Belay that, Mikhail. Just finish what you're doing and then uh, uh, call me. <laughs> just stay there, you bench. Move out. There's a live bomb in there. Yeah, oh, no. <laughs> Congratulations, Chuck. You saved the day, boy. Not a boy, Mr. Parker. What a man. You sure came through under pressure. He's got nerves of steel. Oh, yeah, it's nothing. All you got to do <laughs> That's our ensign. Go on, get him on board. We're heading for Moringa. Let's go, boy. What are you doing at my desk? Get out from there. Up, 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 up. Yes, sir, I'm, I'm sorry, sir, but the supply devil just called. There's been a big robbery, and I was writing down a list of the missing items, sir. A robbery? Let me see that. What kind of a... Lumber? Roofing? Nails? Well, these are all building supplies. Well, yes, sir. Who could have done it? Well, who else could have done it? Public enemy number one did it. <laughs> I thought that was something phony. Parker was covering up for Mikhail and those cutthroats. But, sir, why would they want building supplies? Oh, how would I know? Those crooks would steal anything just to keep in practice. <laughs> Let's go, Carpenter. Get my hat. Get the door. Sir, are you wearing your hat? <laughs> well, I'm not wearing the door. Move! <laughs> the boat is here, sir, but they don't seem to be around. Uh, well, they're probably having a crap game below deck. <laughs> We can just get there fast enough. We can. <laughs> Sir, I know you're in a hurry, but but there's a ladder just aft. You could have gone down much easier. <laughs> you fathead, get me out of here! I'm trying, sir. Oh, oh easy. Oh. Take it easy. Be careful. Oh. One, two, here we go. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Are you all right, sir? Oh my goodness. How can I be all right? I practically broke my. Look at that. There's nothing down there, Carpenter. There's no engines, there's no radio, there's no equipment, it's just a hulk. You're right, sir. It's an absolute wreck. Why, it's almost as if a bomb exploded right below decks, a direct hit. Carpenter. Sir. Take a look around here. Yes, sir. What does that look like to you? Hit and run Harry, sir. Exactly. That's why those bandits stole the building supplies. They want to repair the damage. Now, if I can just get Admiral Rogers down here to take a look at this floating junk heap, Mikhail and his men will be transferred out, and I'll be free. Be free, free, free! <laughs> 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 On behalf of the entire tribe, I wish to thank you. Now we can build bigger and better village. Well, it's the least we can do, Chief. Look, we'd love to stay and help you get started, but we got to be getting back to our own base. Before you leave, we must show our gratitude. Oh. Oh. Hey, hey, I think I'm getting the raw end of the deal here, Chief. <laughs> Let's go. Bye bye, Chief. Now, you see, Admiral, that's the story. Mikhail painted up his boat so I wouldn't know that it had been knocked out by hit and run Harry. Yes, sir. And then he went and stole all those supplies just to try and repair it to avoid being transferred out of here. Well, that's a mighty fine spirit. But typical of Mikhail. Anything to stay in the fighting zone. <laughs> well, that, that, that's not the way I look at it at all, sir. What is that? Who would that be sneaking in the back way like that? Oh, oh, oh. oh sir, I don't know how to say this, but it's the PT-73. Well, how can that be? This is the PT-73. What is the matter with you, you dunce? Did you hear what the admiral... Are you trying to tell me there are two PT-73s? I don't know what to say, sir, but when I look... Oh, at... you don't know anything. What does that say? Right there. 73. Come here, handkerchief. PT-73. PT-73. 
75. P.T. Oh, P.T. 25. 25. Bingham, what in blazes is going on here? Well, uh, Admiral, now I see it all, Admiral. This is not the 73. This is the wreck of the 25. You see, Mikhail painted this all up and left it as a decoy in his dock. Why would he do a thing like that? Because I restricted him to his base, and he is too much of a coward to stay here and get blasted like the rest of us by hit and run Harry. That amounts to desertion. Yes. I never thought I'd see the day that Mikhail would pull a stunt like that. Oh, well, this is the day. This is the day, Admiral. <laughs> I hope it's a lovely day like this tomorrow, too. I like a sunny court martial. <laughs> Boy, that was a close one. We just missed that patrol boat. How's our decoy doing? Mikhail! Oh, no, it's Binghamton. All right, Mikhail, we know it's you, and we know about the boat, so come out of those bushes. On the double, Mikhail. You've got a lot of explaining to do. Samuel Rogers, too. Oh, boy, it'll take a miracle to get us out of this one, boys. Stand it at one o'clock, Skip. It's hit and run Harry. Yeah, he's diving at our decoy. Maybe this is the miracle we want, boys. Battle stations, man, your guns. Let him have it, boys. It's hit and run Harry, sir. Take cover. You need a good hot bath. If you pull yourself together, you'll find out your blood is nothing but dirty arcane. <laughs> you got that nip with a lucky shot, but you're still guilty of repainting a PT boat without permission and deserting your post in the face of the enemy. Now, do you deny the charges? No, sir. Aha! There you are, Admiral. You're a witness. But you see, sir, by uh, painting the old wreck to resemble the 73, we created a lure for Hit and Run Harry. And then we sneaked off, hit in the bushes, and... And Harry fell for it and strafed your decoy. I was a witness to that, all right. That's yes, right, and uh, the real 73 got him. Now, look here, man. Bingham, then why can't you think of things like that? Come along, Mikhail. Now, don't worry, Wally. We're going to put in a good word for you. You're all sticky. Why, it's me. Why is it always me? Hey, Skip. Ah, I've been thinking. Why do we have to sink the 25? Because she's just a worthless old hulk. And Binghamton ordered her sunk for target practice, that's why. Worthless hulk? She saved our lives. I know, I know. But what do you want me to do? Orders or orders? Now, if you ask me, she deserves a better fate. Like maybe being turned out into a floating casino. Or maybe... Oh, come on, you meatball. Come on, get going. <laughs> hey, you know, I agree with the guy, Skip. I don't know how you could think of sinking a gallant boat like this. You know, uh, maybe we... <laughs> okay, you guys, let's get this work, this old hulk out of here. <laughs> That's our ensign. <laughs> Send my draft board a thank you note. <laughs> Could you all get a little closer together? 
Anything you say, Mr. Parker. Come on. Sending this home to mother, you know. If Bington finds out we sneaked off to a luau, she'll see our pictures at the post office. Hey, Chuck, snap it up. We gotta be getting back. <laughs> okay, Skip. Okay, now everybody watch the birdie and say cheese. Or oh, nobody bleak. This flash powder's pretty potent stuff. Hey, Skip, there's a zero coming in at three o'clock. Ted, run, Harry. Come on, take cover. Let's go, come on. Let's go. I guess I used too much powder. <laughs> hey, Chuck, run for it. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Shilling supplies. Well, yes, sir. Who could have done it? Well, who else could have done it? Public enemy number one did it. <laughs> I thought that was something phony. Parker was covering up for McHale and those cutthroats. But, sir, why would they want building supplies? Oh, how would I know? Those crooks would steal anything just to keep in practice. <laughs> Let's go, Carpenter. Get my hat. Get the door. Sir, are you wearing your hat? <laughs> well, I'm not wearing the door. Move! <laughs> <laughs> Is here, sir, but they don't seem to be around. Uh, well, they're probably having a crap game below deck. <laughs> if we can just get there fast enough, we can. <laughs> sir, I know you're in a hurry, but but there's a ladder just aft. You could have gone down much easier. <laughs> uh, you fathead, get me out of here! I'm trying, sir. Uh, uh, oh, easy, sir. Uh, Take it easy. Be careful. Uh, One, two, here we go. Uh, yeah. uh, are you all right, sir? Oh, my goodness. How can I be all right? I practically broke my... Look at that. There's nothing down there, Carpenter. There's no engines, there's no radio, there's no equipment, it's just a hulk. You're right, sir. It's an absolute wreck. Why, it's almost as if a bomb exploded right below deck. It's a direct hit. Carpenter. Sir. Take a look around here. Yes, sir. What does that look like to you? Hit and run Harry, sir. Exactly. That's why those bandits stole the building supplies. They want to repair the damage. Now, if I can just get Admiral Rogers down here to take a look at this floating junk heap, Mikhail and his men will be transferred out, and I'll be free. Be free, free, Mikhail, on behalf of the entire tribe, I wish to thank you. Now we can build bigger and better village. Well, it's the least we can do, Chief. Look, we'd love to stay and help you get started, but we got to be getting back to our own base. Before you leave, we must show our gratitude. Oh. Kwaini, honey, my Oh. Hey, I think I'm getting the raw end of the deal here, Chief. <laughs> Let's go! Bye-bye, Chief. Now, you see, Admiral, that's the story. McHale painted up his boat so I wouldn't know that it had been knocked out by Hit and Run Harry. Yes, sir, and then he went and stole all those supplies just to try and repair it to avoid being transferred out of here. Well, that's a mighty fine spirit. But typical of McHale. Anything to stay in the fighting zone. Well, that's not... That's safe. <laughs> 
Dirty freedom. Oh, sir, you were just crying for them. As a matter of fact, you almost had me in tears. I'll knock it off. I almost had my freedom. Now I can really cry. <laughs> so remember, you guys, not a word about where we've been. If Binghamton never finds out we left the base for the luau, ha oh, ha, he'd eat us alive. Oh, condition rich. Skip, look, there's Binghamton standing on the dock. Is it wearing a bib? Of he's wearing a bib. Look what we're wearing. Yeah, we... Well, never mind. It's too late. He, he's already spotted us. Yeah, besides, our uniforms are blown up in the rain. What are we gonna do, Skip? Oh, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna... Well, we'll just play it cool. Follow my lead, boys. I got an idea. <laughs> Tire off there. Okay, you guys. Back to your quarters on the right, double. Move it, move it, boys. Hold it, hold it. Why, Captain Binghamton. Why, Captain Binghamton. <laughs> Chip, you didn't spot me from three miles out. Now, what's the rush? Oh, well, you see, I wanted my boys to get out of these combat uniforms. Yes, sir. Combat uniforms? Yeah, sure. Yeah, you see, we were out chasing a nip submarine. What were you gonna do to them? Blind them with your shirts, then lasso them with your legs? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you and your little joke, sir. <laughs> no, you see, uh, we figured that they seeing us in these get-ups, well, we'd lull the enemy into a false sense of security. They'd think we were coming back from a luau. <laughs> then when they came up to investigate, blam! We'd blast them right out of the water. <laughs> Me and my little jokes, huh? You were at a luau, weren't you? You see? It even fooled you, sir. I <laughs> apologize to my orchid. Oh, I'll orchid. <laughs> You've got to do better than that story, Mikhail. Do you have any proof you're out chasing a nip sub? Well, uh, 60 witnesses, sir. 60 witnesses? Where are they? Where? Why, well, on that nip submarine, sir. Yes, sir. If you want, we go right out and get them. <laughs> hey, okay, you're a discover. Let's move out, man. Battle. Oh, oh shut up. Shut up. Me. <laughs> All right, Mikhail. You and your pineapple pickers are restricted to your island until further notice. Oh, but, Captain! I'm going to get to the bottom of your ridiculous story after the Admiral's visit. Admiral? Yes. And if I find out that you men really were the luau, then I'm going to invite you to one of my own. Oh, you will? Yes, I will, Parker. And at this one, you're all going to be well done on both sides. <laughs> Skip, you're right. He is going to eat us alive. <laughs> oh, and uh, Mikhail, if you have any ideas about breaking restriction, then you forget them. Because I'm going to have a patrol boat check on you every half hour. And a 73 better be tied up to your dock nice and tight. Yes, sir. Oh, but, Captain, what if Hit and Run Harry comes and we're tied up to the dock? Well, we'll be sitting ducks. <laughs> yeah. Carry <Yeah>, on. <laughs> no good creep. Yeah, that's like knocked off. Yeah, like the 25 boat. Listen, that's a dirty trick. That sound restriction will never get back to help those poor natives. Hold it. <laughs> never mind, Mr. Parker. He's out of range. Mr. Parker! <laughs> Telephone. Main side calling. Watch those bullets. <laughs> Anson Parker. Oh, hello, Captain. Captain Straightener. <laughs> yes, sir. What's new? What's Knock off the small talk and tell me about the air raid. How did Hit and Run Harry do? Is the 73 still floating? Uh, the right... Well, yeah, yeah, it's fine. We're, we're all fine. Nice of the ask. <laughs> You're all fine, huh? Uh, yes, sir. Affirmative. Uh, the nip plane got away, but we're all in great shape. Yes, sir. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Oh, yes, yes. That's just wonderful. I could just scream. Uh, where's Mikhail? Me? Mikhail? Mikhail? <clears throat> well, 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 he, well, he's busy with the men right now, sir. Well, put him on the phone. Get, get him to the... Get him to the phone. <clears throat> the, 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 I'll get him, sir. <laughs> uh, Skipper! Uh, Binghamton wants to talk to you. Well... Well, I can't come right now. I'm very busy. <laughs> hey, he's pretty busy, sir. <laughs> All right, Willie, now rack up that ammo and let's get moving, you eight ball. <laughs> he's up. He's up. Uh, uh, very, uh, pretty busy, sir. Uh, yeah, he, uh, well, Freddy can't make it. <laughs> what are you puffing about? Well, I'm talking to you. You keep puffing. Oh, never mind, you pea brain. <laughs> puffing all the time, puffing when I'm talking. The 73 boat is okay, sir. Yes. Why can't those Japanese train their pilots to be more accurate? It's an absolute disgrace, sir. More than that, Carpenter. There's something phony going on here. Mikhail cleaning up after an air raid. But why, sir? That, that's regulation Navy procedure. Yes, and Mikhail's doing it. That's what bothers me. <laughs> Keep an eye on things here yes. while I'm gone. I'm going to pay a visit to that rat's nest. Get my hat. Get my hat. Your hat. Get the door. Oh, oh, I thought you wanted me to get lost. I thought you wanted me to get lost. Boy, it's been over an hour. All I had to do is swipe those supplies and get back here. Oh, no, 
don't understand. Why hey, there they come. <laughs> well, that's what took him so long. The skip came the back way through the lagoon so he wouldn't run into the patrol boat or Binghamton. Well, it's a shame they went through all that trouble. What? Well, here comes Binghamton. Man, what a time for him to show up. Holy mackerel, Willie and I better go warn the skip while somebody stalls Binghamton. Oh, that's a good idea. Wait a minute. Who's going to do the stalling? Looks like you've been elected, Mr. Parker. <laughs> well, well, thanks. Gee, I won and I didn't even campaign. Hey, wait a minute. I want a recount. Hi, <laughs> right, Captain. Here, let me help you, sir. Oh! Get your hands off of me! Oh, Every time I come over here, it's just like blacked this. out, sir. Blacked I'm out? How would you know the difference? You'll get your hands off of me. Better light the dust off with them. <laughs> Where is he? You got the dirt on your face, too, sir. Parker, I'm just giving uh, Seaman Block uh, permission to, uh, to go to the head. <laughs> Stop that infernal cackling. Tell me, Binghamton. Is it true that Hit and Run Harry got away again? Yes, sir. He's a, he's a very sneaky bandit, Admiral. He sneaks in under our radar, and he's gone before we can strike back. Well, we got to do something about him. I'm coming down to Terra Tupa tomorrow to work out some countermeasures. Meanwhile, what about PT-25? It was a direct hit, Admiral. The, the boat is inoperable. All right. Transfer the crew of the PT-25 up here right away for reassignment. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Goodbye. All up. Foul luck. I could have hit the 73 boat, then Mikhail and his bunch would have been transferred. Not that. Wait a minute. The 25 was hit right off of Mikhail's Island, wasn't it? Yes, sir. Carpenter, have we heard from Mikhail since uh, the raid? Well, no, sir. I tried to get through to him three times, sir, but there was no answer. Uh huh. Maybe this is my lucky day after all, Carpenter. Maybe hit and run Harry hit the 73, too. <laughs> you know, you look better that way, boy. <laughs> Mikhail! Mikhail! They don't seem to be here, sir. No, they don't seem to be anywhere, Carpenter. This is terrible. Terrible. What's terrible, sir? Oh, I can see it all now. I know just what happened. Hit and run Harry snuck in here, and Mikhail and his men tried to fight him off, but one lucky bomb. It sent the PT-73 right into that bottomless ocean. <laughs> Oh, what a loss, Elroy. What a tragic loss. <clears throat> Sir, uh, sir, cheer up. They're safe, sir. They're safe. Well, Here comes the 73 well, now, right well, there, well, sir. Well. Oh, good. Of all the dirty, rotten, low down, miserable, dirty tricks. They're safe. Dirty tricks? Sir, you were just crying for them. As a matter of fact, you almost had me in tears. I'll knock it off. I almost had my freedom. Now I can really cry. <laughs> so remember, you guys, not a word about where we've been. If Binghamton never finds out we left the base for the luau, ha ha, he'd eat us alive. Oh, condition rich. Skip, look at there's Binghamton standing on the dock. Is it wearing a bib? <laughs> He's wearing a bib. Look what we're wearing. Yeah, we. Well, never mind. It's too late. He, he's already spotted us. Yeah, besides, our uniforms are blown up in the raid. What are we gonna do, Skip? Oh, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna? Well, we'll just play it cool. Follow my lead, boys. I got an idea. All right, tie her off there. Okay, you guys. Back to your quarters on the right, double. Skip. Move it, move it, boys. Hold it, hold it. Hold it. Why, Captain Binghamton. Why, Captain Binghamton. <laughs> Chip, you didn't spot me from three miles out. Now, what's the rush? Oh, we're posting the face of the enemy. Now, do you deny the charges? No, sir. Aha! There you are, Admiral. You're a witness. But you see, sir, by uh, painting the old wreck to resemble the 73, we created a lure for Hit and Run Harry. And then we sneaked off, hitting the bushes, and... And Harry fell for it and strafed your decoy. I was a witness to that, all right. That's yes, right, and uh, the real 73 got him. <laughs> now, look here, man. Binghamton, why can't you think of things like that? <laughs> Come along, Mikhail. <laughs> now, don't worry, Wally. We're going to put in a good word for you. <laughs> You're all sticky. <laughs> why is it me? Why is it always me? <laughs> Now, that's it. Hey, Skip. Ah, I've been thinking. Why do we have to sink the 25? Because she's just a worthless old hulk. 
And Binghamton ordered her sunk for target practice, that's why. Worthless hoax. She saved our lives. I know, I know. Well, what do you want me to do? Orders or orders? Now, if you ask me, she deserves a better fate. Like maybe being turned out into a floating casino. Or maybe... Oh, come on, you meatball. Come on, get going. Hey, you know, I agree with the guy, Skip. I don't know how you could think of sinking a gallant boat like this. You know, I, maybe we... <laughs> Okay, you guys, let's get this work, this whole hulk out of here. <laughs> That's our ensign. <laughs> Send my draft board a thank you note. <laughs> Could you all get a little closer together? What do you think you say, Mr. Parker? <laughs> oh, come on. Sending this home to mother, you know. If Bington finds out we sneaked off to a little house, she'll see our pictures at the post office. Hey, Chuck, snap it up. We gotta be getting back. <laughs> Okay, Skip. Okay, now, everybody watch the birdie and say cheese. Oh, and nobody blink. This flash powder's pretty potent stuff. Hey, Skip, there's a zero coming in at three o'clock. Take run, Harry. Come on, take cover. Let's go, come on. Let's go. I guess I used too much powder. Chuck, run for it! Woo! For it, it strafed your decoy. I was a witness to that, all right. That's right, and uh, the real 73 got him. Now, look here, man. Bean, then why can't you think of things like that? Come along, Mikhail. <laughs> now, don't worry, Wally. We're going to put in a good word for you. <laughs> You're all sticky. <laughs> Bye, me. Why is it always me? <laughs> All right, tie this tow line up in that set. Hey, Skip. Ah, I've been thinking. Why do we have to sink the 25? Because she's just a worthless old hulk. And Binghamton ordered her sunk for target practice, that's why. Worthless hulk? She saved our lives. I know, I know. Well, what do you want me to do? Orders or orders? Now, if you ask me, she deserves a better fate. Like maybe being turned out into a floating casino. Or maybe... Oh, come on, you meatball. Come on, get going. Hey, you know, I agree with the guy, Skip. I don't know how you could think of sinking a gallant boat like this. You know, I, maybe we... <laughs> okay, you guys, let's get this work, this whole hulk out of here. <laughs> That's our ensign. <laughs> Send my draft board a thank you note. <laughs> Could you all get a little closer together? What do you think you say, Mr. Parker? <laughs> oh, come on. Sending this home to mother, you know. If Bington finds out we sneaked off to a little house, she'll see our pictures at the post office. Hey, Chuck, snap it up. We gotta be getting back. <laughs> Okay, Skip. Okay, now, everybody watch the birdie and say cheese. Oh, and nobody blink. This flash powder's pretty potent stuff. Hey, Skip, there's a zero coming in at three o'clock. Take run, Harry. Come on, take cover. Let's go, come on. Let's go. 